So can you just like start like from the beginning? <laughs> this way. Oh yeah. Hello, Nate, right? Hi, uh, my name is Zach Helmberger and, oh. and uh, I uh, have a property, a three acre uh, uh, property here at Greater World Airship Subdivision and uh, we have a, a beautiful airship that we live in, my wife and I. And um, we have an arroyo that, that's inside of our lot and so there's a lot of erosion. And so I wanted to figure out a way to make contour lines on my property so I could do drainage ditches or swales and stuff like that to help reduce uh, soil erosion. And so I came up with this, uh, what I call the poor man's laser level. Um, uh, just, a, just trying to think of the cheapest, simplest way I could, I could uh, uh, make something that would work so that one man could shoot elevations uh, with just with the tape measure instead of you know all this fancy equipment and, and stuff like that. So this is like the, about the simplest thing I could think of. Um, basically what you do, um, you have three identical levels here at the hardware store and you can get these for pretty cheap. Um, and what I did is I took the top of this one and touched it to the, to the top of this level. And um, to make sure, and then, then I would very carefully, I would very carefully level it to make sure that they were agreeing with each other. So I'd, I'd get, so I'd cherry pick. I'd get three levels that all agreed with each other, just hmm. to make you know extra sure I got a good accuracy. Right. Then, uh, then I strapped them together um, so that you know the, I just you know, basically just clamped them together so that uh, they're the same, you know. They're flush. They're at the same elevation at each each of the three points. So the three levels form an equilateral triangle, and um, and then I got the little leveling feet here, so you can adjust the level. Um, but the screws. Right. That's great. <laughs> that was a, a recent feature that I did. Um, and then you just uh, you know adjust the feet until until you reach a, a perfect level on each of the three guys here and we got a pretty pretty good level here as you can see then what I did and this is kind of the important part is, is, is you want to get a really high contrast on your, uh, on your level here so I painted the out well actually what I did here is I put black construction paper on the outside of, of my ring and then I painted the black I painted the top black and then I painted the inside white Hmm. And so what will happen now is that if you, uh, once it's on level like that, and you move up and down, you'll see there's a very specific point where the white will be eclipsed by the black. So you have to kind of bob up and down, and you'll see there's a, there's a very specific point yep. where, the, where the white is just eclipsed. And then what you do, um, and this, so what you do is you take the tape measure, you put it on the point of the ground where you want to where you want to take uh, an elevation, and then I put my eye up real close to the tape, and right where the white just disappears. So that's uh, what is that? Uh, 37 and a half, almost exactly 37 and a half. Uh, so this point here is with respect to the top of that, of the, of the four man's laser level, is 37 and a half inches down. Then if I, uh, I don't know if we got a, a piece of two by, so I, I said 37 and a half, so I'll just take a scrap of two by here. Let's see, where is that? Uh, A little different point here. So this is uh, 39 or 38. Four man's uh, laser level. 38 and three quarters. Now I'll put the piece of wood on it. Oops. 38 and three quarters. Yeah. 30, 37. And, uh, oh, oh, sorry. Awesome. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for 
that's sharing that. Too. That's basically it. I mean, you just you can go up to 100 feet away. Um, I actually one time I measured and it was 130 feet away, and it was still fairly easy to distinguish the, the white blinking in and out. Wow. Um, it, you know, it just kind of depends on, you know, like, so like here, this would be like a really nice angle here if you can see the sun is shining directly on the white. Right. And that gives you a very high contrast. Um, and I also put the black paper on there to also, in case the, the background is white. Mm -hmm. you know, you've got a blue sky or something like that, you, gotta, you get a better uh, right, chance right. at getting a, a good uh, visible eclipse. So you can go, you know, easily 50 feet to you know, 100 feet away. So that gives you a 200 foot diameter uh, with this thing. And the level vials, they said it was uh, um, half a millimeter per meter, is, I think is the rating on the, on the vials. Hmm. And so that, I think that comes out to like three quarters of an inch per 100 feet. So if you're 100 feet away, um, there will probably be an error of like three quarters of an inch. Okay. But you know, if you're you know, if you're trying to shoot a floor in a house or, or do contour lines, I mean that's you know, and, and you can have you know 50 people you know using the thing at the same time. Um, you just you know look at the thing and that's awesome. You know, pretty much it. Cool. So you can you know shoot in a floor like you know here at the entrance. You know, if you uh -huh. get the, the dirt floor all shot in, you could do it very quickly. With this, awesome. Uh, awesome. And, oh. Uh, and then when you really need that accurate number, then you know, use the transit. Right, to right. Cool. Great. Anyway, uh, enjoy. Uh, cool. Great time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.